how to convert an image to a PDF on an iPhone. In this video, I'm gonna show you two different methods that'll allow you to easily convert any image file to a PDF file on your iPhone for free. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So the first method will be using just your iPhone and then second, we'll be using a free tool that works on your iPhone that doesn't require you to install any apps that gives you a little bit more control. So for the first method, you can either open up your Photos app or the Files app and navigate to the image. Then just simply select the photo or image file that you want to convert to a PDF. Now, if it's a file, when you open up the image file, tap it and you'll see the share button. So go ahead and select the share button, then scroll down and all we need to do is select print. Once print comes up, go ahead and select the share button again and then scroll down and select save to files. Then all you need to do is select save and that will save that image as a PDF in the location where you saved it. So as you can see right there, photo two, and that's a PDF document. So that was the first method for converting an image to a PDF on your iPhone, but it doesn't give you any control over the size or orientation of the image on your PDF. So what I recommend if you need to do that is to use a tool called pdfgadget.com. This is free. I actually created this tool because I wanted to be able to recommend something that doesn't require you to upload your PDF files or your images to a server. So all of these work within the browser on your iPhone. Nothing ever leaves your device. And check the description. I have a link down there. Once you get to pdfgadget.com, Dot com, select more tools, and then select image to PDF. Now what we need to do is select choose files. And in here you can either take a picture, search your photo library, or choose a file. I'm just gonna search my photo library and use two images. You can add as many images as you want, and then select add. It'll then show them right there. And we have a couple different options. First, if we need to rotate the image to make it look correct, we could do that. Then you can choose if you want the PDF page to save the image as a portrait or landscape. I'm gonna do portrait. And then we can choose the size of the image by doing fit to page, original size, or stretch the fit. Now with most pictures, if you do original size, the image will be zoomed in a little bit. So I recommend doing fit to page. But if it was a smaller image, you may wanna do original size. You can also remove the image if you selected one accidentally. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to this one as well. And then once you're ready, select create PDF and then download PDF. It'll then open up the new PDF containing your image or images. And to save this, all you need to do is select the little share button and then scroll down and select save to files. Tell it where you want it to save and then select save. So now you can see that that PDF with those two images has now been easily created using PDF Gadget. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.